Hey there, Stony Ridgers. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We are headed off the farm today to go and pump up the tires on this old 52 Willys Jeep. So my dad's kind of getting rid of a bunch of stuff here on his farm that he doesn't use anymore. Stuff that we used when I was a child. And we bought his 52 Willys Jeep and we bought the 68 Bronco and we also bought a 52 Farmall Super A tractor. So we'll take it today and we'll see if the Jeep's tires will hold air. We've got to get it out of the barn. It's been tucked away in the barn for about 15 or 20 years and maybe even longer than that. And we'll go show you that Farmall Super A. It's a 1952 Farmall Super A. And all these are little projects that are going to be going on on the farm. So let's go off farm and have a little bit of fun today. All right. So before we go over to the barn and get the Jeep, I want to show you this old tractor. Check it out. <laughs> so this is a 52 Farmall Super A, and we've got straps up here to hold those cultivators or plows out of the ground. Basically, this is the tractor. This has been sitting in my dad's basement for about 30 years, and we're going to do a little restoration job on it here on the farm. It has some issue with the steering box, so one of the wheels kind of wobbles like this. So if any of you guys know where I can get some parts for this guy, post a comment down there, please. I'd love to know. Now we're gonna get down and check out the Jeep. We gotta get it out of the barn today and bring it up here so we can get it all on a rollback and get it to my house. Getting down here to the barn, things really grow up. This right here was where our garden was when we were kids. It was about an acre and a half garden. This is my dad's old cabin down here and that's where the salt boxes are where we cure our hams. He told me to just pull down here. It's a little bit on the wet side right now. I don't want to spin up anything, but this used to be a very, very lively place. This used to be where all the action was. And that's our old goat shack right there. So this is the place where I grew up. This is the barn that we used to have our chickens and our pigs and our goats and all kinds of stuff in here. And now basically it's just used for storage, but what a lively place. When I was a boy, my dad used to say, hey, go over and get us a chicken for supper. And I'd go over there and I'd get us a chicken for supper. We didn't eat fast food. I remember eating out when I was a kid, maybe twice we went to Shoney's. When we went to the beach, we went out to a seafood restaurant. That's all I remember being a kid. Let's get in the barn and check this thing out. Let's check out the old Jeep here. So the challenge we're posed with here is we've got to move this friends guard. We need to move that so that we can get the Jeep out and around. Basically, we're just going to hook the bucket on the tractor to it and just kind of drag it out. I've got to make sure that the tires hold air. Got my fingers crossed. Check these tires out. So that one looks like it's still got air in it. This one back here looks a little bit on the cracked up side. My dad was saying that the Jeep has tubes in the tires, so should be good, I hope. Okay. That away. All right. Where are we going? I'm going that way, right? Uh -oh. Hang on. Uh -oh. It's trying to turn over. Yep. You got too much of your bar underneath. Slide a little bit of your bar out. There you go. Now wedge him up. Let's go up with it. <laughs> you want to straighten it up so you can get your tractor hooked to it right? Well, you want to get ready. Here goes nothing. Coming up. Rising up out of the mud. That's one tire good. Three more to go. 
All right, let's get our compressor over here. See if she'll hold air. Ooh, that's old. Oh. I don't know that that one's gonna do it. Oh yeah. Trying. we go. These old inner tubes are probably 40 years old. They're holding, but for how long? Awesome. Oh, this old tire here is looking rough. Look at that. It's all cracked and busted down there. Let's see, see if it surprises us. Look at that. Whoa. Going up. Tire number three, good. All right, we're on our last tire and it looks the worst, so keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Let's get the valve cap off. If the valve cap screws off, seems like it'll be all right. Here we go. Taking air. I can hear it cracking as it raises up. Oh, I can feel air coming off of the tire here. There we go. She's taking it. So all four tires took air. Now we're packed in this barn. Let me show you how we're all packed up in here. So we've got to move the front end over with the tractor, lifting it up and drag it out of here without taking out this post right here. Gonna be fun. Let's have some fun. This is good old country boy fun right here. Let's get out of here. Guys, you ever try to do something like this with your dad? He knows the way that it's going to be done. I'm trying to calculate the smart way to do it. Hopefully, his speedy activity doesn't cause this thing to jam up against that post. I don't want to tear it up. So the thought process is to hook to the edge of this corner right here, to the front. We're going to raise it up, and the whole Jeep will slide down the hill here. We'll see. Oh, oh. That's what I was afraid of. It's not up against it too hard. Oh! Go straight out, you got it cleared. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got any brakes on it? <laughs> right. All right, so we got it out from around that post. The thing is, it has no brakes right now. I didn't even think about that. It doesn't have any brakes to hold it in place and it's very difficult to hold it in gear, so we're gonna have to figure some stuff out. My dad's kind of twisted up with the tractor right now, too. Ball, we're gonna try to hitch up to the tow bar and pull it on out of here. That seems like the safest option because it has no brakes and if we were to pull it out with the tractor it could roll and hit the tractor or it could roll off down the hill somewhere so this is the best option. It 
So we got the Jeep hooked up here. We're gonna pull it on out. Well, we got it out of the barn, guys. This Jeep hasn't been out for 30 years. It's got 30 years worth of chicken poop and dust and all kinds of nasty, and I got all that all over me, too. Let's take you around the Jeep real quick while it's in the light and show you what we've got. This is going to be a cool project we're going to be working on on the farm. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell. It'll notify you when we post videos about this. So she's seen better days, but it looks pretty good. Look at all the rat nest mess in here. Speedometer's busted. But the seats, remarkably, are really nice. I think we need to get the pressure washer on this thing first and go from there. Pretty awesome. Just look at the difference in the colors. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. I don't know if I'm going to tow this thing home. If I do, stay around till after the credits and you'll see me tow this thing home. I'm a little worried about towing it down the highway, but I don't know. It's kind of the country boy way, isn't it? Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm Channel. All right? Woo! We'll come on down.